I'm very excited today to review the Cadet 3D printer from Monoprice. Full disclosure, this printer was sent to me free of charge for this video review, but I will give you my honest opinion. There are several features that this printer has that makes it stand out as a printer for children, students, or complete beginners to 3D printing, and I'll help explain what that is. First, what is a 3D printer? Basically, this, a hot glue gun. The hot glue gun will melt glue, while the printer melts a spool of thin plastic. I squeeze the trigger and use my hands to melt a thin layer of glue while the 3D printer is doing the same thing but with servo motors. The idea is to melt a thin layer, then move upwards a small amount, melt a layer on top of that layer, until the model is completed. The machine just happens to be a little better and more precise than me. And this printer is not a kit. Some higher-end printers can take hours to assemble and risk assembling incorrectly, but this printer is pre-built, and that's a plus in my opinion. Right out of the box, I really like how sturdy this printer feels. It looks like a great enclosed design. 3D printers have several moving parts and a high temperature end that can be dangerous to a kid if they touch, but this is one of the few printers I have seen with a metal shield protecting the hot end and the moving parts securely enclosed inside the casing. So that's another plus for safety. The setup for this printer is very simple. Remove the packing foam, then connect the guide tube into the Bowden motor. Plug in the power cable, and I like how this power brick is very small and lightweight, and it comes with a switch built into the cord. Now this is the print bed, where the plastic will be melted on. I like that it's removable, and it's held in place with magnets. It's flexible, which helps to pop off prints. But you might notice the size. This is the largest print volume the printer can make. This is a limitation, but I think it's fine for most prints, and you can always scale down a model or print in parts and assemble with superglue. There are two types of filament, PLA and ABS. ABS is a plastic that shrinks when it cools, so some printers have a heated bed, but this printer does not, so it's only recommended that you print with PLA. This is fine for me since I prefer to print with PLA. Remember from the hot glue gun example that the smaller the layer heights, the more smooth the print will look. This printer can print as small as 0.1 millimeter layer heights. That's 10 layers to make one millimeter, about the size of a pencil lead. For that very small layer height, you would imagine you would need the print bed to be absolutely perfectly level. Several printers today still require you to turn four wheels to dial in that exact micro amount. But thankfully, not this printer. Before each print, there is a sensor that checks the distance from several spots, so the print head makes small adjustments when needed to maintain a level print. This is a big plus in my opinion. Before we print, we need to calibrate that small height. Turn on the printer, select Control, and then Z Offset Setting. And use the knob to lower the head until there is a slight tension on the paper. We only need to do this once, and the printer will remember this height offset and use it every time. Now let's print something. Load the sample filament on the side by selecting Auto Feed Filament. I feel like this could be renamed to just Load Filament. The printer will heat up and melt the filament, which can now be turned off. To help hold the model, let's add a little stick glue to the print bed. Let's insert the included SD card and select Print from SD. Then select the first model. And that's it, the printer starts printing the model. And no matter how many times I watch this, it's always exciting to see the model being built layer by layer. I'm impressed with how easy the rafts pop off and how clean the model looks. And this can also be a fun painting project a kid would enjoy too. To print other 3D models, we first need a slicing program. The SD card came with a free copy of Monoprice's own slicer program, which I think is very simple to use. Find a 3D model online to download. Then drag and drop that file onto the slicer. Position, scale, and rotate if needed, and then hit the slice button. This cuts the model into slices and will tell the servo motors how to move. Save the G-code file back to the SD card and insert that into the machine to print. That simple. 
You can of course experiment with more settings, but I find that the default values work great. I wanted to use my own purchased PLA filament, but it didn't fit onto the holder. So, remember this machine can make things. So I measured, modeled, and 3D printed a spool adapter. Now it fits perfectly. I'll add a download link in the description. Overall, I would say I like this printer. It's small, but it has a great quality and print speed. And I feel that it is reliable and prints consistently. I haven't had any problems with it so far. And it has some nice design and safety features, which I think would be great for a student, children, or beginners to 3D printing. And again, I want to thank Monoprice for sending me this printer. And I want to thank you for watching. And have fun 3D printing, and see you next time.